Hello there. In our previous tutorial we have learned how to add books manually. Today, I will show you how to import Excel data in CoDG Library Management System. To do that, first click on Import Excel Data link, as you can see a menu appears. At first select a category, I will select books as my category. Then, select a subcategory, I will select a story. Now, as you can see there are two radio buttons, Manual ID and Auto Generate. These options are for creating a session numbers. Now select the Manual ID radio button then click on the Generate Excel button. Select the location where you want to keep the file. Then save. As you can see Code LMS has automatically created an Excel file. You have to maintain your Excel sheet according to this format. Let me show you how you can do it. If you don't have any required information you can leave it blank. Like, I do not have any classification number so, I chose to leave it blank. Then save the file and close Excel. Now you can click on import directly as the software automatically detects the path, you do not need to browse and import the file. Click on the import button OK. Now you can see all the details here. If you want to update or delete any item, you can do it by right click on the individual item. Now I will show you the auto-generate option. Let me choose a category and subcategory. Now select auto-generate radio button. You can see a pop-up window, which says please change a session setting. This window appears because auto-generate a session has not been set. Let do it first click on auto-generate give a prefix name. I will type ABC and underscore as my joining character. I have discussed this feature in details in another tutorial. Please go to our YouTube channel to watch the video. Now click on the Update button. Now click on Generate Excel button. An Excel file has generated. Enter all the required details, you will not found the session number column here as, it will be generated automatically by the software. Let me enter all the data. Now save the Excel file and close. Now click on the Import button. All data has been successfully imported OK. Now you can see all the data here. You can see the software has automatically generated the accession number. One more thing, if you already have an Excel file according to the format, you do not need to generate Excel, just select category, subcategory, choose manual ID, or auto generate, which you preferred. Now, click on the browse button, select the file and click on import. That's it for this tutorial if you have any queries or suggestions comment below. Thank you.